Having a resilient mind plays an exceedingly crucial role in one's engagement with life, akin to a clandestine force that aids in persevering through trying times. Mental resilience stands as the linchpin in problem-solving, adhering to objectives, and confronting challenges with unwavering resolve. Particularly when one's talents and skills fall short, mental fortitude becomes paramount. The forthcoming video segment delineates 10 habits that render the mind fragile. Should we assimilate and apply the teachings of Stoicism, we can embark upon a journey to fortify our minds, rendering them more adept at rebounding from adversity. Habit number one, embracing a negative mindset. A negative mindset is akin to heavy clouds overshadowing the bright inner sunshine of our happiness. This habit renders our psyche fragile, as it paints everything in our lives with shades of gloom and despair. When we continually fixate on the negatives, we overlook the positives unfolding around us, akin to wearing tinted glasses where everything appears dim, even the moments of beauty. If we persistently dwell on negative thoughts, we start believing that everything is bleak, and success and happiness are unattainable. This mental outlook becomes a self-fulfilling prophecy, influencing our actions and decisions. We may refrain from taking risks or trying new things because we've convinced ourselves they'll inevitably fail. To overcome a negative mindset, we can draw from one of Stoicism's teachings, namely mindfulness, which entails observing our thoughts without judgment. Instead of letting negative thoughts take precedence, we can acknowledge them and then opt to focus on the positive aspects, akin to sweeping away the clouds to let the sunlight through. Stoicism also introduces the practice of loving-kindness meditation, which involves directing warm and positive thoughts towards ourselves and others. By regularly practicing loving-kindness, we gradually shift our mindset from negative to one more compassionate and positive. The concept of impermanence in Stoicism teaches us that everything is in flux, and the bad times will pass just as the good times do. Understanding this, we can confront challenges with a more resilient mindset, knowing that difficulties are not permanent. By embracing these Stoic teachings, we empower ourselves to break free from the chains of negativity and foster a positive and resilient mind. Habit number two, complaining about things outside your control. Complaining about things outside our control is akin to clutching a hot coal, it only hurts us. This habit weakens our minds because it directs our attention towards what's wrong rather than seeking solutions. It's like being trapped in quicksand, the more we complain, the deeper we sink into negativity. Stoic teachings shed light on why this habit makes us mentally weak and how we can break free from its grip. When we complain, we often forget about impermanence, a significant concept in Stoicism. Impermanence means that everything is always changing, yet complaining tends to make us believe that things will never get better, trapping us in a cycle of discontent. Instead of seeing challenges as temporary, we make them seem like permanent problems. To overcome the habit of complaining, we can practice acceptance. This means understanding that life has its ups and downs, and we can't control everything. Acceptance is like learning to dance in the rain instead of complaining about the storm. By accepting what we cannot change, we free ourselves from the heavy burden of constant complaint. Stoicism also encourages us to focus our energy on things we can control. It's like steering a boat in a storm, we may not control the weather, but we can navigate our vessel. By taking action where we have power, we shift from a passive complaining mode to an active problem-solving mindset. In Stoic teachings, letting go is another powerful practice. It's like releasing a burden, we feel lighter when we let go of unnecessary burdens. Letting go doesn't mean giving up, it means releasing the tight grip on complaints and allowing space for positive change. By incorporating these Stoic principles into our lives, we learn to approach challenges with a balanced mind, 
accepting the impermanence of situations and focusing our efforts where we can make a difference. In doing so, we liberate ourselves from the grip of complaints and cultivate a mental strength that propels us forward even in the face of adversity. Habit number three, not expressing yourself. Not expressing yourself is akin to having a treasure chest but keeping it locked away. This habit weakens our minds because it prevents us from sharing our thoughts, feelings, and ideas with the world. Like trying to navigate in a dark room without turning on the light, things become chaotic and confusing. Stoic teachings guide us to understand why this habit makes us mentally weak and how we can break free from its constraints. In Stoicism, authentic self-expression is considered a crucial factor in building a solid foundation for mental health. When we suppress our thoughts and emotions, it's like bottling up a fizzy drink, the pressure gradually builds up and may eventually explode. This explosion may manifest as stress, anxiety, or feeling overwhelmed because we haven't released what's inside us. The practice of speaking truthfully in Stoicism encourages us to communicate with authenticity, kindness, and mindfulness. Like sowing positivity when speaking, our words can grow into a garden of understanding and connection. By aligning our speech with these principles, we build a bridge between ourselves and others, fostering genuine relationships. To overcome the habit of not expressing ourselves, mindfulness becomes a valuable tool. Mindfulness is like a mirror, reflecting our thoughts and helping us become aware of our feelings. By staying present in the moment, we can observe our thoughts without judgment and express ourselves clearly and empathetically. Expressing ourselves isn't just about the words we speak, it may also involve non-verbal communication, such as body language and gestures. These silent expressions are like a secret language, conveying our emotions and thoughts even when we don't say a word. By recognizing our nonverbal communication, we enhance our ability to authentically express ourselves. By incorporating these Stoic teachings into our lives, we learn that authentic self-expression not only liberates ourselves, but also benefits the well-being of those around us. Just as opening a window lets fresh air in, expressing ourselves illuminates the space of our minds with understanding and connection. In breaking free from the habit of not expressing ourselves, we embark on a journey of authenticity, building a resilient and empowered mind. Habit number four, blaming others. Blaming others is like attempting to run a race with a backpack full of rocks, it weighs us down and slows our progress. This habit weakens our minds, because it strips away our power, like handing over the steering wheel of life to someone else instead of taking control ourselves. Stoic teachings elucidate why this habit makes us mentally weak and how we can break free from the entanglement of blame game. In Stoicism, the concept of karma tells us that our actions have consequences. Blaming others is like ignoring this law, refusing to acknowledge the roles we play in the unfolding of our lives. When we blame others, we become spectators rather than active participants in our journey. Taking personal responsibility means understanding that we have the ability to shape our experiences, like captains of our own ships navigating through storms. When we blame others, we imply that we've lost control, but in fact, we are in control. By accepting the idea that our actions have an impact, we empower ourselves to make positive choices. To overcome the habit of blaming others, forgiveness plays a crucial role. Forgiveness doesn't mean condoning the actions of others, rather, it's about releasing ourselves from the burden of unhappiness, like dropping a heavy backpack and feeling lighter and freer. Forgiving others and ourselves is a powerful step toward reclaiming personal responsibility. Mindfulness is a key practice in Stoicism that helps us become aware of our thoughts and actions, like a lamp illuminating a dark path, allowing us to see the direction we are heading. By maintaining mindfulness, we can promptly recognize when we're inclined to blame and choose a more empowering response. 
This shift from blame to responsibility is like replacing the rocks in our backpack with wings that help us soar. Incorporating these Stoic teachings into our lives invites us to harness our own power and lead our own journey. Breaking free from the blame game isn't just about demanding others to take responsibility, it's more about recognizing our agency and our ability to cultivate a positive and resilient mindset. By letting go of blame and embracing personal responsibility, we embark on a journey toward mental strength and self-empowerment. Habit number 5. Fantasizing instead of visualizing. Fantasizing instead of visualizing is akin to building castles in the air, they may appear beautiful, but they lack a solid foundation. This habit weakens our minds because it disconnects us from present reality, akin to chasing mirages in the desert where our desires may forever remain unattainable. Stoic teachings elucidate why this habit makes us mentally fragile and how we can transition from fantasy to visualization to attain a more stable and positive mindset. Fantasizing often involves unrealistic scenarios and wishful thinking, like expecting a pot of gold at the end of a rainbow, a pleasant notion, yet not grounded in reality. When we get lost in fantasies, akin to daydreaming, we miss out on the beauty of the present moment. This habit weakens us because when reality doesn't align with our imagined scenarios, it may lead to disappointment. On the other hand, visualization entails creating mental images of achievable goals, akin to possessing a treasure map where we can chart a course toward our objectives. Stoicism emphasizes the importance of right intention and right action, aligning with visualizing positive outcomes and taking practical steps to achieve them. By rooting our desires in reality, we bridge the gap between dreams and achievable goals. Stoicism's teaching of impermanence reminds us that change is constant. Fantasies often involve clinging to fixed ideas about the future, while visualization adapts to the ever-changing landscape of life, akin to surfing rather than trying to grasp onto the shore, we move with the flow of life. By acknowledging the impermanence of all things, we cultivate a more flexible and resilient mindset. To overcome the habit of fantasizing, mindfulness becomes a valuable tool, akin to putting on glasses that help us see reality more clearly, we become aware of our thoughts and gently guide them towards positive and realistic visualizations. Mindfulness allows us to appreciate the beauty of the present moment while actively working towards our goals. Incorporating these teachings into our lives encourages us to transition from fantasy to visualization, cultivating a more positive and grounded mindset. By embracing principles of impermanence, right intention, and mindfulness, we break free from the habit of building castles in the air. Visualization becomes a powerful ally, helping us manifest positive realities and navigate life's journey with purpose and resilience. Habit number 6. Neglecting personal relationships. Neglecting personal relationships is akin to having a garden but forgetting to water the plants, over time, everything will wither away. This habit weakens our minds because humans are social beings, and meaningful connections bring joy and support, akin to sailing a boat without wind, we may move forward, but it's a slow and lonely journey. Stoic teachings guide us to understand why this habit makes us mentally fragile and how we can cultivate stronger bonds by investing time. Neglecting personal relationships is like shutting the door to a warm and welcoming home, missing out on the comfort and support that relationships provide. When we fail to make time for our loved ones, misunderstandings and distance begin to grow like weeds in a neglected garden. This habit weakens our minds because we may feel isolated, deprived of the nourishment of love and companionship. Building and maintaining relationships require time and effort, much like tending to a garden to nurture its growth. To overcome the habit of neglecting personal relationships, we can start with presence. Presence is like the sunshine for relationships, it helps them flourish. 
Spending quality time with our loved ones, akin to regularly watering plants, fosters connection between us. Communication is another vital aspect of nurturing relationships, it's like filling the sails of a boat with wind, propelling us forward. Taking time to listen and share our thoughts and feelings is akin to keeping the relationship garden vibrant and alive. Through openness and communication, we cultivate understanding and deepen our connections. Stoicism encourages us to recognize the impermanence of life, including the time we spend with our loved ones. Just as we savor a delicious meal knowing it won't last forever, understanding the fleeting nature of time motivates us to prioritize relationships and invest our time wisely. Incorporating these teachings into our lives reminds us that personal relationships are like threads weaving the fabric of our happiness. By making time for our loved ones, we cultivate a support system, strengthen our minds, and enrich our lives. Breaking the habit of neglecting personal relationships allows us to navigate life's journey with companionship, making the voyage more enjoyable and fulfilling. Habit number seven, allowing emotions to control you. Allowing emotions to control us is like being swept away by a powerful river, losing control and direction. This habit weakens our minds because unchecked emotions can become overwhelming, leading us astray like a ship in a storm without a compass, we may lose our way amidst the turmoil. Stoic teachings guide us to understand why this habit makes us mentally fragile and how we can cultivate emotional intelligence to navigate the currents of our emotions. In Stoicism, mindfulness is a powerful practice that encourages us to observe our emotions without being swept away by them. Much like standing on the riverbank and watching the water flow, we can witness our emotions without being dragged into them. When we allow emotions to control us, it's like being adrift in a storm without an anchor, we are tossed about, struggling to find direction. The concept of emotional intelligence includes recognizing, understanding, and managing our own emotions, as well as empathizing with the emotions of others, like having a compass in the storm, it helps us navigate challenges and maintain a steady course. When we let emotions control us, it's like handing the reins to a raging force, risking getting lost in the chaos. To overcome the habit of allowing emotions to control us, mindfulness becomes a valuable ally, like a sturdy ship that helps us navigate the waves without capsizing. By being present in the moment and observing our emotions with curiosity and non-judgment, we gain the ability to respond wisely rather than react impulsively. Stoicism encourages us to cultivate a balanced mindset through practices like loving-kindness and benevolent meditation, like planting seeds of compassion in our hearts, which grow into a garden that enables us to approach emotions, whether our own or others, with kindness. By embracing emotional intelligence, we develop a set of skills that enable us to understand, harness, and learn from our emotions. Incorporating these teachings into our lives helps us break free from the habit of allowing emotions to control us. Instead of being at the mercy of emotional storms, we become the captains of our emotional ship, steering with mindfulness and compassion through the seas of emotion, maintaining a steady course toward mental strength and well-being. Habit number 8. Endeavoring to command all. The attempt to govern all resembles the simultaneous hurling of too many balls, it proves exhausting, and ultimately, we may see them all tumble. This habit enfeebles our psyche, for it ensnares us in despondency and dismay, akin to the futile pursuit of seizing the wind, an endeavor both unattainable and disheartening. Stoic teachings impart wisdom on why this habit renders our minds fragile, and how we may find strength amidst the paradox of relinquishing control. Within Stoicism, the concept of non-attachment instructs us to release the illusion of control, akin to realizing our incapacity to grasp clouds, forever shifting and ephemeral. When we strive to command all, it is akin to attempting to clutch water, slipping through our fingers, leaving us feeling helpless. To relinquish control does not signify capitulation, 
Instead, it entails recognizing the limitations of our influence, much like sowing seeds in a garden, nurturing them, yet unable to dictate the weather. While weather may bring rain or sunshine, our role lies in diligently tending to the garden. As we accept that certain matters lie beyond our dominion, we liberate ourselves from ceaseless strife, much akin to unclenching a fist. To overcome the habit of striving to control all, mindfulness becomes our ally, a steadfast anchor grounding us in the present. By concentrating on what we can affect and releasing the rest, we gracefully navigate the tumultuous seas of uncertainty. Stoicism encourages us to embrace the paradox wherein relinquishing control begets genuine power, much akin to the realization that by easing our grip on control, we gain resilience to confront life's trials. As the need for control loosens its hold, we open our arms to accept what life offers, relinquishing the shackles of fixed notions. Integrating these teachings into our lives invites us to unburden ourselves from the weight of attempting to command all, and in relinquishing the illusion of control, we unexpectedly discover strength, much like catching the wind in our sails, propelled forward by the liberating sensation of freedom. Shedding the habit of micromanaging every aspect of life, we unearth the potency derived from embracing the undulations of existence. Habit number 9, Dwelling on the Past Dwelling on the past is akin to carrying a heavy backpack filled with old belongings, it slows our pace and makes the journey more arduous. This habit weakens our spirit because it keeps us mired in what has already transpired, preventing us from fully enjoying the present or looking forward to the future. It's like trying to drive while constantly staring at the rearview mirror, we are likely to miss the road ahead. Stoic teachings help us understand why dwelling on the past makes our psyche fragile and how we can break free from these shackles. In Stoicism, the practice of mindfulness instructs us to live in the present, akin to opening a window to let fresh air in, clearing away the stifling sense of dwelling on the past. When we linger in the past, it's like trying to walk backward, we are prone to stumble and lose our way. By letting go of the past, we make room for new experiences and opportunities. Dwelling on the past also ties us to old wounds and resentments, akin to keeping a wound covered with bandages for too long, hindering us from wholeheartedly embracing life. Stoicism encourages us to practice forgiveness, not only towards others but also towards ourselves. Forgiveness is like opening a door to release the past, allowing us to move forward unburdened. Stoic teachings on impermanence remind us that everything is in flux, akin to watching a river flow, the water never remains the same. When we cling to the past, it's like trying to freeze the river, causing it to stagnate and lose its vitality. By acknowledging the impermanence of all things, we free ourselves from the chains that bind us to past experiences. To overcome the habit of dwelling on the past, self-compassion is crucial, akin to saying a kind word to a friend in need, we should extend the same kindness to ourselves. By treating ourselves with compassion and understanding, we break free from self-imposed imprisonment of regret and guilt, the past becomes a teacher rather than a jailer. Integrating these teachings into our lives empowers us to release the chains that bind us to the past, through embracing mindfulness, forgiveness, and self-compassion, we pave the way to liberation. Breaking free from the habit of dwelling on the past enables us to step into the present with ease and openness, ready to embrace the unfolding moments of life. Habit number 10, Worrying about others' words and deeds. Worrying about what others say and do is akin to carrying a burdensome backpack filled with their thoughts, it weighs down our spirit, hindering our authenticity. This habit weakens us because it tethers our self-worth to external opinions, akin to steering a boat tossed by every past wave. Stoic teachings unveil why this habit renders our psyche fragile and how we can liberate ourselves from the chains of perpetual judgment. 
In Stoicism, the practice of equanimity encourages us to maintain balance amidst the tide of praise and criticism, akin to standing on solid ground while the winds of public opinion blow. When we overly concern ourselves with what others say, it's like building our house on an unstable foundation, making it susceptible to every storm. By cultivating equanimity, we become more resilient in the face of external judgment. Judging ourselves based on others' opinions is akin to letting others hold up a mirror, seeing ourselves through their eyes rather than our own. Stoicism teaches us the importance of self-acceptance and authenticity, akin to wearing our favorite clothes rather than trying to fit into someone else's wardrobe. By letting go of the need for constant approval, we free ourselves from the constraints of others' expectations. Mindfulness is at the core of Stoicism, it helps us become aware of our thoughts and reactions. When we worry about what others say, it's like getting lost in a maze of opinions, mindfulness acts as a guiding light, helping us rediscover our true selves. By living in the present moment, we can observe these concerns without getting entangled in them. To overcome the habit of worrying about others' opinions, self-love becomes a potent remedy, akin to planting seeds of kindness within ourselves, which grow into a garden of self-acceptance. By recognizing our intrinsic worth and embracing our unique qualities, we erect a shield against external judgmental arrows. Integrating these teachings into our lives frees us from the psychological fragility brought on by worrying about what others say and do. Through practicing equanimity, embracing authenticity, and cultivating self-love, we break free from the chains that bind us to external opinions. Shedding the habit of perpetual judgment empowers us to chart our own course, harnessing the inner strength and authenticity. Stoic teachings offer comprehensive guidance for overcoming habits that render us psychologically fragile, by weaving mindfulness, compassion, and wisdom into the fabric of our daily lives, we can transcend negative patterns and cultivate enduring psychological resilience. In the radiance of Stoic philosophy, we are reminded of the importance they place on inner discipline, perseverance, and acceptance of fate. Stoic philosophy teaches us to remain calm amidst the challenges of the real world while reminding us to cherish each moment of the present. As advocated by Stoics, by accepting the arrangements of fate, continuously seeking wisdom and inner resilience, we can transcend adversity and lead a life that is stronger, calmer, and more fulfilling. Thank you for watching, I hope that under such philosophical guidance, we will continue to strive for growth, break free from psychological fragility, embrace life's challenges, and find true freedom and satisfaction through continuous practice. Until next time on our program.